we all get to that point. We've all been there. We will be there again in the future. When we feel overwhelmed, tired, lethargic, confused as to what the best path is in our life, these kind of feelings, they can weigh down on you, they can bring physical problems in your life, mental problems, depression, anxiety. And you can feel that you just don't know what the next step is going to be. This does not make you ill. This does not make you in some way different than others. In fact, you're quite normal. You have a vision in front of you of what your next goal is. You know what it is. But the path to get there is so hard. It seems so insurmountable that doing nothing becomes an option. And this is where depression can set in in your life. This listless feeling. I don't know what the next step is. You are not alone. This is not unique to you. And you have the power to overcome these feelings. We can get to a point in life where we feel that personally or professionally, we have hit a wall. This is normal. Do not beat yourself up over this. You will feel that the next step in your life is either you have no idea what it is, you're not sure what direction you should go, and sometimes in life, the bridge that we're walking on collapses right underneath us. We feel that we have a good path we're moving on. We're doing just fine. But everything that we have planned, whatever stability that we have can sometimes fall out from under us. And we can find ourselves in a very vulnerable and a position of being fearful about our future. This is a great challenge in life and this will come to all of us at some point. You are, again, normal when you feel this way. This is a turning point in your life and a crossroads. And you need to make that next decision. What are you going to do next? It can seem overwhelming. The crossroads is that of chaos and routine. These are the crossroads that you have come to. If you choose the path of chaos, you will set up no daily plan to change your life and to organize your life, to move forward, to solve whatever problem you are dealing with. You'll fall into the rut of, we'll just see what happens. Or maybe somebody else will fix it. Maybe the government will fix it. None of this will happen. Chaos will continue to spiral your life out of control. But chaos is easy. Chaos is simply doing nothing. In some cases, chaos is even taking things up in your life that are destructive. Alcohol, drugs, lack of sleep, lack of exercise. Because the stress builds up and you choose a path of chaos to deal with this stress or to not deal with this stress. The other road to take is that of routine. It is the path of the small victory. You don't 
have to have all the answers. And you don't have to even know exactly what the the distant goal is going to be. You have an idea of where you want to be in five years, 10 years, 20 years. You have an idea, but you don't have specifics and that's normal. But the idea that you can set up a routine and win today, organize and make today successful. It starts out when you first wake up. When you first wake up and you get out of bed, you make that bed, you go have a nice hot cup of coffee. For myself, I like to put a little cushion on the ground, do sit-ups and push-ups with that first cup of coffee. Relax with a little bit of music as you're getting ready in the morning, showering, shaving, preparing for your day, checking the house if it's clean before you leave it. Is everything put away? Is everything washed? Will you be returning home to a clean house? These are the little victories that can set you on a path of routine. Routine is a foundation for success. It is the direction to head to get past these feelings of depression. Sometimes it can be as easy as letting some light into your life, into your house, opening windows, uh, getting some fresh air in your house. Again, playing some nice music. Maybe like some people like to put candles around the house and get sort of a nice scent in their home. These are the atmosphere to start changing your persona and the way you are feeling, your emotions. The atmosphere starts to become more positive around you and that starts to lift your spirit. And as simple as just having a morning routine can start you on a path to changing your life and to getting through a hard time. As you move through your life, never stop learning. Always have something to stimulate your brain. Take up a hobby, books, uh, a game that you find interesting that challenges you. Uh, even good conversation with others. Do something to challenge your brain. Your brain needs to be put through an exercise the same as the rest of your body. It keeps you sharp. It also keeps you on top of things if you have to make a decision in life. To not use your brain, you will also experience lethargy in your brain functions, in your critical thinking. Good health, eating healthy, cutting down on the carbs, and getting good sleep, hydrating. These will also help with your brain health, okay? Never stop learning and keeping your brain sharp. Maybe study for a new certification at your workplace. Maybe it's as easy as finding uh, a book. Today, I the, the base that I'm on right now, I went to the library and I found an Anne Rice book. Hold on. I found an old Anne Rice book at the base library, one that I had not read. And I said, okay, that's great. That's the next book to read. I love her work and I find it fascinating. It's also historical and it comes in a variety of both uh, documentary format, but also fictional format. I love it. I love her writing. It's, it's wonderful. Always find something. Keep your brain exercised and healthy. <laughs> the steps, the small goals on the way to the bigger ones. That is your pathway. To summarize this, if you find yourself falling off of your path, instead of shooting for that long distance goal, it will come. But just set up what you're going to do that day and that week in that direction. 
analyze this video, I think of a story that I was listening to from a YouTuber named George Bruno. He was talking about a young man that asked Aristotle, how do you get to Mount Olympus? <laughs> and the answer was, just make sure that every step you take is in the direction of Mount Olympus. Very simple answer. And the idea is that you know what that big goal is way out in front of you, but it can be overwhelming to get there. Relax. Set up your steps for that day, for that week. You're heading in the direction of the bigger goals that you have in life, and you're going to get there. Don't fall off your path. If you do, you have the ability to reset yourself, not with this big goal, but with the small goals of what you're going to do to be successful today and what you're going to finish at the end of this week. Those are goals you can manage in your mind and establish, and it will move you forward to a life of success, which is what I want for you. As you move forward, never give up. I hope that you have enjoyed this series. I have very much. I thank you for your time. Please comment and continue on with the discussion. I will be finishing up uh, several videos on Saudi Arabia at the time of this video being made. And they will be getting posted and edited. And uh, I will be soon moving on from Saudi Arabia to my next adventure about the same time frame and doing some traveling. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to bringing you with as well. Uh, again, I hope that you've enjoyed this series, and I wish you all the best in life. We will talk again soon, and aloha.